Hey everyone, welcome back to Bear It In Mind. In a previous video, we explored the Romanian orphan studies and the effects of institutionalization. And in this video, we're going to evaluate it. Let's dive in. Firstly, other researchers have investigated the Romanian orphans, with one study by Chigani et al. in 2001 called Local Brain Functional Activity Following Early Deprivation, a study of post-institutionalized Romanian orphans. In other words, they scanned the brains of some of the orphans to know any differences in their development. They studied 10 children adopted from Romanian orphanages using PET scans. These basically let them see which which areas of the brain are most active. They compared the results with two control groups, a group of normal adults and seven children. What they found was that the brains of those children adopted from Romanian orphanages showed dysfunction in the brain regions thought to be responsible for impulsivity, attention, social skills and cognitive abilities. Think decision making and intelligence. Chigani et al's research demonstrates that being raised in an institution can affect brain development, which results in the long-term effects displayed by Romanian orphans. Secondly, one of the main strengths of the research into the effects of institutionalization is its practical application. This is because the research has drawn attention to a number of key areas about the early years of a child's life and how they should be cared for. For example, firstly, it has shown the importance for children who are raised in an institution to have a key worker. That's one person who continually cares for them and builds a relationship with them, rather than them being cared for by multiple people. Orphanages now avoid having large numbers of caregivers for each child, and as a result, helps to avoid disinhibited attachments forming. Secondly, it has shown the importance of early adoption. The earlier a child can be adopted and raised in a caring home, the better it is for their recovery and development. And thirdly, it has shown the importance of the quality of care and adoption after institutionalization. The effects of institutionalization can be overcome if adequate care is provided for them. So it shows the importance of the careful screening and selection of appropriate families to adopt them. However, one of the problems with the research into the effects of institutionalization is generalizing the results. This is because the Romanian orphan studies are extreme situations and not a typical representation of children raised in institutional care. It could be argued that the findings from such terrible conditions in the Romanian orphanages tells us little about the impact of children living in better quality institutions. Therefore, this undermines what the research can possibly tell us about about the effects of institutionalization. Another limitation of the research is that the long-term effects of institutionalization are not yet clear. This is because they stopped studying the children at age 15 and we do not yet know how they developed in the future. It could be that as they entered adult life, those remaining orphans who still had developmental delays at age 15 may have fully caught up. And it might also be the case that even the Romanian orphans who had caught up to typical development at age 15 went on to experience other problems when they became adults. Therefore, this makes it harder to draw firm conclusions from the Romanian orphan studies because without this further research, we cannot know for certain what the long-term findings are of institutionalization. Finally, we can evaluate the research in terms of its social sensitivity. If something is socially sensitive, it means that there are potential consequences or implications from the research for either the participants or for people similar to the participants. In this case, the findings from this research could have negative implications for any children who were adopted, and particularly those adopted later on. How so? Well, the research suggests that they may be delayed in their development. If an adopted child hears this, perhaps this will turn into a self-fulfilling prophecy and they might think that they cannot achieve like others and fail to make progress in their abilities. Or perhaps those teaching them will have lower expectations of those adopted students because they expect them to struggle and not be able to keep pace with the other students. And as a result, they will make less progress. Therefore, it's important for psychologists to carefully communicate the findings from such sensitive research to hopefully prevent wrong conclusions and implications being drawn. Now, there's one last video in the attachment topic for you to explore that looks at how your early attachments go on to influence your romantic relationships and even how you might parent. To watch that video, you can click on the screen now. I hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you in the next one.